Hey, what's up, guys? It's Chao Long Hua here once again. Best Dota 2 player this world's ever fucking seen, okay? And I'm going to be explaining to you guys how inflation works in Dota 2, all right? And one thing you guys all need to understand is that US East and Europe servers are by far the most inflated servers in this game, all right? 6K on those servers is absolutely nothing compared to 6K on any other server. And I'm going to be explaining just how this works how these fucking servers get inflated all right so first of all we need to understand how mmr is added into the system all right and the way mmr is added to the system is through calibration and there's two primary there's two types of accounts that are being abused when it comes to calibration that's smurf accounts and sold accounts aka boosted accounts that someone sells on a third-party website like Epic MPC, all right? So what people are doing is they're creating these accounts, they're dumpstering all the shit stains, they have that fucking phone again! So anyway, they're playing these unranked matches, they're fucking dumpstering kids, all right? They're tryharding because all they want to do is they want to calibrate at a high MMR. So by the time they play their calibration matches, generally, they're going to calibrate at somewhere around 4 to 4.5k MMR, all right? And from that point, they're either going to sell off the account or they're going to play as their own Smurf account, all right? So in this illustration, we have the typical ranked match, all right? We're going to pretend that this is a 5k average MMR, and let's just assume that every single player in this match is exactly 5,000 MMR, all right? So obviously one team is going to lose, and each player on that team is going to lose 25 points. The way we should be looking at this, though, is how many points in total are lost. So, in total, these players combined are going to lose 125 points, and the other team is going to gain 125 points. And this is extremely important, because let's just say, you know, what happens when one of the players is actually a purchased account, all right? He bought his account at an extremely high rating. So in this illustration, I'm gonna show you guys what is typical of someone who bought a high rated account or somebody who tryharded and unranked in order to calibrate at an MMR above their skill level, all right? So this applies to both of these types of accounts because the thing you need to understand about both of these types of accounts is that their MMR was created out of thin air, all right? It was calibrated at a high MMR. And then what these players do is they try to play the account, but since their skill level is fucking dog shit, they end up feeding relentlessly and losing massive amounts of MMR. All right, you guys, so if this starts to get confusing, you know, you're just gonna have to fucking deal with it, all right? So this is how inflation works in Dota 2, you guys. A normal player who has a 50% win rate at their rating, is going to lose games, and he's going to win games. When he loses a game, he's going to be feeding the enemy team 25 points. When he wins a game, he's going to be taking 25 points from the enemy team. All right? So, the squares on the top represent a legitimate player at 5k MMR. Over the duration of 40 matches... Assuming they have a 50% win rate, they're going to be feeding away 500 points, but they're also going to be taking 500 points, all right? So, they may be feeding away points, but they're also getting it back at the same time. However, the squares on the bottom represent a player that either smurfed and calibrated it at a skill level far above his, or he simply purchased an account that is at a skill level far above him, so... The difference between him and the legit player is that he will end up losing almost all of those 40 games and he has no hope of ever recovering those points. So he basically purchased an account that had its MMR created out of thin air through calibration, feeds away a thousand points, and then what he's going to do is he's going to purchase a new account. He's just going to abandon this account. It's low rated now. There's no point to play it. He's just going to go spend 20 bucks and he's going to buy a brand new 5k account and he's going to repeat this process 
over and over and over. And since those accounts are going to be abandoned, since they're, the MMR that they fed into the system is never going to be reclaimed by them, that is why MMR is inflating at a ridiculous pace, okay? They're continuing to repeat this process over and over, purchasing new accounts that had MMR created out of nothing. They feed the MMR. They create a new account over and over and over and over, you guys. This is how MMR is inflated in Dota. And this is why you're seeing such high levels of inflation on large population servers like US East and Europe. It's because more people play on these servers, so naturally there's more people buying accounts to play with on these servers. And this is just another good reason why there absolutely needs to be region lock in Dota or at the very least, there needs to be an MMR lock where you can't take rating gains from some server and pump it into a different server's rating pool, all right? So, you know, this game is fucking dog shit. It's always going to be dog shit. All Valve cares about is getting Gabe Newell his daily McChicken intake, all right? And getting you fucking shit stains to buy fucking hats and shit, all right? So don't buy into this fucking bullshit game. Until they fix their shit. Alright, so once again, Challenge Qual, best Dota 2 players holds ever fucking seen. Signing out.